What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and today I'm back with another episode of my unofficial ratings for Mutt 17. The game's coming out soon so we're doing ratings for every single team. Today is the Cincinnati Bengals. Of course you guys can check out the uh, first episode which is on the Chicago Bears. Link will be down in the description below to the entire playlist and you guys can check it all out. We're going to take a look right now at this Twitter poll I put up uh, you know, a few days back. And actually, AJ Green took the top spot as who you guys thought would be the highest overall player uh, for the Bengals in Mutt 17. We'll take a look at who I think will be their top overall player, uh, obviously, when we get down to it. Also, if you want to vote on this week's poll, definitely uh, check my Twitter down in the description. And also, I'll leave a link to the newest tweet as well, um, and you guys can vote on it there. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Coming in at number five, we have Vontae's perfect, very good season for him last year. Only played 10 games, uh, but honestly had a very solid year. In the playoffs, did have a little bit of a mishap. Pretty much lost them the game, at least what a lot of people think. Uh, kind of had a meltdown or whatever. And he's definitely a you know a, a you know a hot-headed player, but he is very very good when he can control himself. And he is an extremely good player on the field. I'm going to give him an 83 overall in Mutt 17. I think, uh, given the fact that he only played 10 games this season, he's probably not going to get too much of an upgrade over his base card in Mutt 16, which was an 82 overall. So an 83 overall seems you know pretty fair to me. At number four on the list, I have George Iloka, strong safety for the Cincinnati Bengals. He had a very solid year again this last year. Kind of like perfect, only played 12 games. Uh, you know, a shortened season, of course, but still had a good year for pass defense, one interception, had a bunch of tackles as well. Just a solid season all around. He's definitely anchoring that defense a little bit, uh, you know, at the back defensive back position. And uh, he should continue to have another great year next year, as long as he can stay on the field, of course. But George Iloka, I'm going to put him in an 84 overall to start off Mutt 17. It should be one of the Bengals' better players to start it off. Coming in at number three on the countdown, I have Carlos Dunlap, who easily had his best season of his career last year. Uh, his six-year NFL career now, and he had 13 and a half sacks along with two forced fumbles and 55 tackles as well. Had a very, very good year. That's why I'm going to put him at a base elite 86 overall in Mutt 17. Should be pretty darn good. I'm not sure if he's going to make that big of a jump. Of course, his base card in Mutt 16 was an 81 overall, so it'd be a five overall jump. Uh, but I think it could definitely happen. A guy with 13 and a half sacks has got to be an elite, at least in my book. And uh, I think he easily deserves that. And he's going to be anchoring that D-line along with Geno Atkins, of course. And that defensive line is going to be one of the better ones. So I'm going to say he's going to be an 86 overall in Mutt 17. Another monster on that Bengals D-line is Geno Atkins, of course. Defensive tackle. Played all 16 games last year. Had 42 tackles along with 11 sacks, the second highest of his career. Really showed that he could be dominant. Uh, you know, on the line, he already had been, already had a, a great career so far. Uh, like I said, the 11 sacks this past season was his second most. Oh, um, only higher was 12 and a half in 2012, but still going to have a great year this year. Hopefully, as long as he stays healthy, of course, that's pretty much the case with every single player. And I'm going to put him in an 87 overall to start off in about 17. Geno Atkins, along with Carlos Dunlap, going to be really making uh, quarterbacks and running backs lives hell in uh, this upcoming season. And at number one, of course, we have A.J. Green. I definitely agree with you guys on Twitter, although I am putting him at an 87 overall, just like I'm putting Geno Atkins. So however you want to look at it, they're tied for first or whatever. But uh, A.J. Green had a stellar year this past year, 16 games played, almost 1,300 yards, averaged 81.1 yards per game, had 10 touchdowns as well. Just a fantastic year. He's been a great receiver ever since he came into the league. He's had a thousand yard season every single year he's been in the league all five years and uh, should continue to do that along with the growth of Andy Dalton as well. Dalton's gotten even better and because of that, AJ Green will get even better as well. So AJ Green, 87 overall to start off in about 17. He should be a dominant receiver out there, especially because he's six foot four. That's awesome to see. And uh, AJ Green's going to be very, very good. All right, guys, that'll do it for my Bengals top five. Let me know if you guys think I got right and what do you think I got wrong. Uh, I think I could have put Andy Dalton or Andrew Whitworth on the list. I wasn't really sure where to put either of them. Dalton had a very good year, was even an MVP candidate before the middle of the season. Uh, of course, that's kind of early, but still had a very solid year, probably his best year of his career. Um, and then Andrew Whitworth, I'm not really sure where I would have put him, maybe in 83, 84. But if you guys are Bengals fans, let me know down in the comments down below what you think. Also, be sure to check out that uh, link to the tweet uh, below to uh, vote on the top five Bills in uh, Madden 17 Ultimate Team. Uh, you guys can vote on who you think is going to be the best Bills player to start off in about 17 uh, if you click on that link to my tweet. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.